Hi, and welcome to today's School of Ridiculous Inventions. Uh, today we have a very special task. We're going to try to build the tallest tower we've ever built with strawberries. Uh, and the ridiculous thing here is not necessarily that we're building a tower, there's nothing really creative in that, but the cool test here is figuring out a nice flow, uh, an assembly line of building this tower. We're gonna try to reach the roof here. So that's our goal for today. Uh, in uh, around an hour or an hour and a half. We have everything we need. We have a string to actually control it so it doesn't fall over. The most important thing that's especially developed for today, one of the tiny inventions, is this bolt in uh, brute uh, base unit. So this is there to actually have a very level base so the tower will stand straight, uh, mostly on its own. So. Uh, this is the base, and then we'll just uh, continue building. So let's go through the station. So in a factory, you can look at uh, process flows. Uh, these two stations here are, are in parallel. They are feedstock to the 2D assembly line, and the 2D assembly line is feedstock to the 3D assembly line, which is the actual tower. This is the one we want to build most of. This is the fastest one. This is two threes connected with a one, that is the, the six leg joint that is in these tower structures. Uh, so we want to have lots of these. And then this will be a Kanban system. So once this one, we have this at the assembly line, you push the empty one back and we switch. So once you run out, you go over to this one. So that's the idea. So Kanban is a fancy term for uh, an auto push, auto pull system in the factory. Uh, this is the straw sorting. So this is uh, because we wanted to reuse old straws. We took lots of the workshop leftovers. So the first step is actually sorting our, our colors and also looking at quality control. So if there's something that has too much bends or cracks in it, we put them to the side. Is this which? which do we have a discard pile? This is the discard. This is discard. So then I can do a second stick groove. Here, this has been somewhere. Here's a little one, this is a tip top hook. So, factory director comes in and starts <laughs> mumbling. We don't give straight feedback, but somebody, no, just <laughs> <laughs> You can't be 100%. Do we have a secondary quality control when you actually assemble it later? So that's the thing, as long as that is open, you know to look at it when you assemble it. Let's go to the also third we have station. We have so 2D assembly has a really cool module. This is the, um, the core module of uh, uh, this tower that we were built, which is a basic truss. Uh, this rolls up like this. Uh, and so you see this is one module, and this one snaps into this truss. There. So this one is the module, so we can actually just assemble it. So this is where we need to have a couple of people when we do it with a big tower, because we need to keep it straight, and then slowly lower it down and assemble it to our structure. So uh, there will be some slight invention in assembling the tall tower later. But that is the, uh, the module, the idea, and hopefully we can reach all the way to the ceiling uh, within a quite short time. So okay, so we've come pretty far already. It should be up to... Uh, second floor. This is actually taller, so we will be probably four, around four meters per floor, so we're going to be a 12 meter tower when we reach the top. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. So now the next step is actually figuring out how to assemble the tower to get it straight and all the way to the top without it cracking or bending because of how we move and how we assemble it. I think we should actually do a test of making one large assembly very soon, all of us together, and take a break in the full production and, uh, and help each other out lifting it and see if we can do that. Now we're gonna go do the first attempt of connecting one, or like zipping up one really large tower structure and see if we can lift it up as is. It most likely will crack, but if, we'll try it anyway, yeah. let's see. 
I think we have enough tower to reach the roof soon. No, but basically you make a loop of the string and you push it through the strawberry and then you loop it back and then you can tie one safety knot and then you go, have a good it? connection. And we need three or four strings going down to be able to balance from all directions. Yeah, isn't it fascinating? Really like, I can like how tall is this now? It's we approximate one, two, three, four, five meters, and it weighs nothing. At first, we're gonna just attach. Uh, Andreas, can you yeah, yeah. Cap, catch this one? Should we attach the next piece? Yeah, uh, let's put this somewhere here. We don't need it to be in the top. Part. We need to have pull from all directions. Because we need to just get that one over so we can actually have it backwards. Because the problem is we have nothing to put against when it's falling this direction. That's why it's bananaing yeah, outwards. Can we, not put, can we not shift it to the middle? Then it's fine. Yeah. And so then we don't have Christopher holding it. Oh. So uh, let's try it. One thing we'll bring with us is have very colorful string to the tower so people see it. So people that aren't uh, involved in the activity don't stumble over them so it crashes. That was an epic moment. But I really liked it because we were, well, that was, was so close. It was standing there. And that, that kind of is the thing. It's, it's frustration and joy at the same time. No, okay. Woohoo! closing of an awesome day of uh, exploration and uh, experimentation with the tall towers. I enjoyed this thoroughly. I hope you also enjoyed it. Uh, so we, we've been a, a big team playing today uh, and investigating this. I think the base worked really well. Uh, the structure is surprisingly light, which is so nice. It's very strange to have a 10 meter structure uh, freestanding. So we actually had it freestanding twice. 
but it was so close to the wall that it didn't look as cool, so we wanted to move it out. To conclude, the problem was not in the strength of the straws. The problem we were facing today was in the balance of the system. So if we solve that, to come up with a way of actually giving, uh, raising the tower in a more controlled manner, uh, we probably would have no problem reaching this roof and actually further. So thank you for watching and I hope you build some cool towers out there. Uh, obviously Strawberries is the lowest floor, highest ceiling toy on the planet. So join us and invent some cool stuff and do more experiments. Bye!